What's up, my wonderful, great people? Ella Ponset from ksound.com. I got some music I've been working on. I want to show you exactly what I did. Here we go. So in this video, I'm working on this track, right? And due to the review or overview or first look videos I've been uploading recently, um, you got the, the, the dirt that came out by Native Instruments. You got the... Um, pretty much the whole crutch the crush pack right and then you got some stuff that came out by Accusonis, and then you got um some other plugins I, I i i've gotten from some other people i forgot but uh i'm using some of those plugins like beatformer um which is a plugin by Accusonis, and um i did a review on this already right so uh i told you i i would do more reviews and like show you guys more things concerning this plug and you know just using it in, in in context to my music you know something i'm 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 going for you know um in, in terms of finishing it up you know not just doing it for for tutorial or youtube purpose or whatever but it's actually uh something i'm i'm putting together for real right um i'm using the dirt I'm using I'm actually using the tape the tape plugin by Softube which is something associated with the Studio 1 um uh, Studio 1 DAW um what am I using I'm using Slate Verb Reverb here what else am I using Of course I got the red light distortion in here Transient Master I'm using the bite from from Native Instruments, also the Freak from Native Instruments. So I'm using all three of the the newest from the Crush Pack. Yeah, Beat Former. I'm using Beat Former like several times, and this is what I was saying to you guys when I when I did the the first look. I was like, oh yeah, I can see myself using this plugin several times you know even on individual tracks so let me show you let me break down this beat so this is uh this is something that I actually start off um in fact in output that the the new arcade plugin i started this off on my laptop and um just moved everything over to the big boy right and bounced everything down in waves and i I think this is I'm kind of all over the place right now so please forgive me I got I I have no folders I ain't got nothing going on no type of organization I just was just going in sometimes that's what it is you know you gotta you go in and then I'll fix everything later but this was the f first this was the first sound right let's bypass that sounds good without it but with this beat former it just add that little bit more punch and it gave it more bottom to me it kind of rounded off for me so that's what i'm using and then i think this was the next one well it's really not the next one it's just yeah these are sounds I pulled from the arcade. And I think these were like loops. Right? And so, if I, let's go here. Let's go back. Now, I don't know if you can hear the difference, but with this B form, it tightened it up. Right? Let's turn it up just a little bit. It's bypass right now. Let's 
put it back in there. It just tightened it up for me. Hence the 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 uh, the preset. It's called Titan, and it did just just that. So, yeah. All right. So the next sound is yeah. All from arcade. Same thing. Now this, what did this come from? I can't remember where this came from. I think this came from arcade as well. This was something I added later on. You know what? This may not have been something that came out of arcade. This was probably, I don't even remember. I just be pulling. Is it either come come from a loop over here or arcade? Is where I'm grabbing most of my loops from. Right. And that tape effect is coming from. It's coming from all the way. After. Okay. All the way down here. The soft tube. So. That's the reason, that's the main reason why I have the tape tape effect or the tape plug in in here is so that I can activate the run and stop here, get that tape tape effect. And so uh, what I did was I routed all of my sounds to the uh, the tape the tape stop plug in or the the bus channel that has the has this plug in on it and I was able to effectively uh, make automations here as you can see and then what I did was on the next the next track or the next plug-in track or plug-in line I I did a little EQ and um, like a low pass type deal so See if I can add some more of these sounds in. Yep, so I got the string staccato coming from you already know native instrument contact string library. And then I got this piano sound in here. And just EQ'd it out. EQ all the low end. Just give me that high end so so it can mimic the uh the uh the guitar. So what I did was I took the, the guitar the loop here and I extract the notes from it and did it again. Well put it on a separate MIDI track to get the piano to do what it what it's doing and then bounce this down um, I have about 60 tracks so you can you can kinda see why I bounce things down uh, as we go because if I couldn't have all the instruments going at the same time and my CPU's already already crazy right All right, so it's like bits and pieces I just added. Um, it probably don't make sense <laughs> right now because it's like, what is what is he trying to show us? I haven't heard the track yet. Let's hit the track, and I'll try to explain everything as we go. As a matter of fact. Just need some reverb on it.
Now the melody is coming from Omnisphere. I use Omnisphere to come up with that. It's like a flute sound in there. And some synth sounds. This is just a snare from somewhere. Oh. Battery 4. So what I need to do is find a transition sound to come into this change up a, a, a lot better because it's like a, a, a rut thing. It's like nah, it, it don't flow well to me. So I got to find something to help transition it or build up or something. So. Yeah, that's 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 what I have so far. Um and and then I have everything coming out of the CTC1 which is a CPU hog. As you can see, I'm already at like 54 and once we get the CTC going, it boosts puts me at about 90%, but I mean the sound quality it comes from this it's, just, it's like it glues everything together and it puts that analog effect on everything I got the cross talk up so it's like it's giving me that analog board flavor uh, doing too much I don't want it just a little bit driving it right but uh the uh the kick the the extra kick coming in at the end is coming from bad no it's coming from the kit plug so i i'm I'm just kind of like rounding up a lot of things that I've did a review on um and just put them together in this um I got like my last three sounds see I'm all over the place y'all I have nothing that's organized please forgive me I've been telling y'all to do that but I just kind of been working at this all day and been trying to get it done because I'm putting it to a video and I was just like just trying to like knock it out um but I got these these three tracks uh kinda going through the VC the VCA fader right here. You know, as you can see I don't want to do too much because I don't mess with what I already had. And then my tape stop, everything is coming through it so I can adjust like if I select these both I can adjust the volume on everything. But but that's that's just how I, I got it done. For right now um so what i'll end up doing here is uh bouncing this down once i'm done with it and then like bring it back up in the master page like send it over to the master page here and then i'll put the the ozone on it and um the um the compressor the, the um by way and give it that that uh that that end glue, you know, that polish that glue, glue everything together perfectly, even more. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have right now. Just wanted to show you guys that. Um, and uh, you probably will hear it in the, the next video that I do. Uh, my first look or review on a mic by uh, who made it. For fine, okay. I'm doing a, I'm doing a review on that mic. It's a wireless mic. I'm gonna talk about 
what I like about it and what I don't like, I guess. All right, y'all. El up here, ksound.com. Remember, music is art. You the artist, paint your picture. Stay creative without rules. Enroll right now and unleash the creativity that lies within you. KU.creative.com. Creative University. Stay creative without rules. One more thing. If this voice intrigues you and the music make your soul move, my name is Ella. Thank you. <laughs> I'm done.